Hello there. Welcome to another in my series of soaps that I recommend. The uh, brush tonight is my Maggard Purple Swirl. It has a 24 millimeter Maggard Plisson type knot. Lovely. We're going to set it in the scuttle and let it soak a little bit of water up. It's, I do that instead of just running it under the sink. It's a synthetic. And tonight, our razor is going to be my Germania Cutlery, the Oxford Razor. It's a 5.8 square point, bird's eye maple scales. Black Ebony Wedge. Lovely razor. And the soap, the particular Vanillet soap that uh, we'll use tonight is a Cucumber Fresh. This is a lovely, lovely cucumber scent. And I'm going to go down and start lathering. But what I'm going to do is, since these are samples, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty my scuttles bowl, and then I'm just going to take me a chunk of this soap. Press it down into my lather bowl, like so, into the bowl of my scuttle, uh, whatever it is, however it is you want to say it, and just lather like that. Vanille, most of you guys should know already. I, it's not a secret uh, that Vanille is one of my very favorite artisan soaps. I just absolutely love Monica soap. I love the scents. I love the uh, the soap formula. It's just a lovely, lovely soap. Pretty much, she has so many scents that. Uh, it would be difficult for me to name them all. They're all on her sites. I'm looking to make sure I don't have any chunks of soap in my brush. They're all on her site. And they're absolutely lovely. Uh, her, her lather, I don't think you'll be able to see it. I've never been able to do it yet. But her, ha her lather has that creamy shiny that sheen on it that I really love to see in a soap it's just beautiful and this cucumber fresh smells just like a fresh cucumber it smells like I'm making a salad and I'm peeling the cucumbers and slicing them up to get ready for for eating. It just is lovely. She has a, like I said before, she has a ton of different soaps and I'm going to do a recommendation because she started something new. Uh, she was talking about doing short runs of her soaps. And I will read to you what she said, the reason she said she's doing it. And uh, she says, Vanille will be making short run shaving soaps because I love making the labels as much as the soaps. There will be 12 four ounce soaps and 12 samples only one time. So once they're gone, they will not be made until 12 more people ask for it to be run. 
if there's a favorite scent or idea of a label that you want comment below so uh, what she's basically doing is doing short runs she's taking requests for different types of scents uh, maybe custom scents or maybe she's doing requests for uh, uh, some of the stuff that she already does but maybe you want the label to look a bit different or whatever and I like that because to me it sounds like she likes to play I mean she wants to do the labels uh, different labels and custom labels and so she's really enjoying the whole process of, of the business that she's running says so she loves making the the uh, actually I want to I just I have forgotten with me that it's not really necessary for me to do anything but paint lather on uh, this kind of stroke or lift hair just as much as this sorry folks but I don't believe in for one minute that it requires just a circular motion to lift hair and that you can't do it any other way uh, but uh, and I don't subscribe to the exfoliation of a brush uh, a razor blade over your skin is going to exfoliate it a whole lot more than a brush ever will and you don't need it my opinion if you disagree with me feel free to just uh, know that I don't want to hear about it on my channel because that's what I believe you know I don't want to argue, well, let's not say I don't want to hear about it, okay? That sounds rude, and I didn't mean to be that way. What I mean is, is I don't want to argue the point. If you feel like exfoliation from a brush is something that you want, enjoy it. I just don't see the benefit when you're going to be running a razor-sharp blade across your face, and that's going to exfoliate your skin a whole lot more than any kind of brush, unless you've got a brass brush, a wire brush, or something like that, you know? So, uh, so please don't misunderstand. I'm not, uh, not trying to be a jerk. I just don't want to argue about it. That's just lovely. Because, uh, you'll never, ever, ever convince me that I need a, a brush to exfoliate my face before I take a razor to it that's going to scrape all the dead cells off of it anyway. Hmm. My opinion. That's beautiful. I had to uh, refresh this edge before I shade with it tonight uh, the last time I shade with it it was turning just a bit and uh, for those of you that are interested I use one micron lapping film because I didn't have time to go to my show boo and, and uh, raise a light slurry and play with all that. I just did 30 or, uh, 30 or 40 or so passes and maybe 50 on a sheet of one micron lapping film. And that was probably way more than I needed. And it's shaving like a champ. And that's another thing. Uh, if you're in, I believe it's straight razor honing, or I believe it's straight razor honing. Uh, Caleb McCullough has been doing some uh, lapping film piffs for beginner straight shavers who don't 
have stones or don't have the money for stones. I just opened a cut. It's all right. I cut myself two or three videos ago. I just opened that up wider than the, wider than the gate's hell. <laughs> uh, wonderful. I was hoping that would heal. Anyway. Caleb has been has done a couple of laughing film piffs and these are piffs for beginners and, and for those that don't have anything, you know. And I would tell you that and no I did not cut myself again. I just opened up it was raised up a little bit and I barely touched it with this blade and that was all it took because it hadn't completely healed. So but anyway The lapping film is a really, really good way to hone razors, but it's also a really, really good way to maintain them. People tell people all the time, and I'll tell you, you know, if you got the money. Get you a 12K stone, have your razor honed by pro, and when it starts to try to tug a little, just a little, the tiniest bit, do a few laps on that 12K stone and strop it, and it's good to go. And you can keep a razor going for a really long time as long as you don't damage the bevel with a 12K stone, but you can do it with lapping film too. All you need. By the way, I recommend Straight Razor Home on Facebook. Uh, I recommend that page, uh, that group. Just be careful because they do not tolerate drama of any kind. They don't tolerate people talking down to people because they can't afford more expensive equipment, uh, really fine, fancy J-Nats, and they don't tolerate people uh, talking smack about guys that do have the nice uh, expensive J-Nats. That forum is about honing and learning to hone and they do not put up with bull. So if you can't be polite to, to people uh, when they post cheap stones or they post expensive stones that's not the place for you uh, but if you can be a gentleman I highly recommend that place you'll learn a ton so uh, let me do a second pass but he's been he's done a couple at least tips of the lapping film and what I would say to you is if you have if you're just starting out well, you've not got a lot of money to uh, spend on Holmes lapping film is it's a really viable way and I have a honing playlist on this YouTube page and there's a series on honing with lapping film for anybody that's interested I would recommend you go check that out but this soap is lovely I love the cucumber scent one of the things well hard to, to say it right. Uh, I love Monica's soap base first, but her scents her, 
her sense of scents and fragrance. It's wonderful. Uh, I have tried 25, 30 probably of her soaps. And I haven't found one I didn't care for. That's rare. It really is. I have found Watch that puppy. I don't want to open it up again. I have found, wow. Wow. I have found uh, some that I like better than others. But I've never found one I didn't like. Her soap is wicked slick. And I don't have to go searching out for it or splash water on my face to tell whether it's slick or not. It's slick right off the bat. Because I know a lot of guys, like, I know some DE shavers. I won't name any names. But they go, well, that's how. I test whether a soap is slick or not. Is if I, after I make a pass and I splash water on my face. If it's slick on my face, well, to me, that's not slick. That's just an after uh, effect of of the soap residue that's left on your face. If I want a slick soap, I want it slick while I'm shaving. And if I can't feel the slickness while I'm shaving, I don't consider that a slick soap. Sorry. Uh, and so, cold water is. Uh, just a difference in the way that I gauge slickness and it's because I'm a straight razor shaver I believe and, and for me as a straight razor shaver uh, it's important that I I like slickness during the shave not after I splash water on my face but my humble opinion so I want to kind of show you some of the vanilla I can't show you all of them because I ain't got time but some of the vanillae that I like, uh, she makes at least three, and she may make more now, tobacco-based soap. Achilles is tobacco and bourbon. Fantastic tobacco scent. Uh, tobacco pulverone. Yeah, pulverone. And Puro's La Habana. And both, all three of these are, are, are completely different. But they're fabulous tobacco soaps. Her spiced mahogany is really, really good. Really woodsy. Really, uh, really spicy. Just absolutely lovely. And she makes one called Brandstoff. And this is um, a clone of Diesel's Fuel for Life. Really, really good. And the thing about her is she makes aftershaves for almost every scent that she puts out and she's got a ton of scents uh i'm going to use her dress blue aftershave uh this is an absolutely lovely lovely uh aftershave steric acid aloe vera witch hazel abyssinian seed emu red castor even primrose rose hip oils of Old Comfrey, Caledonia, Tapazashut, I don't know how to pronounce that. Oat Marshmallow, Green Tea, and Fragrance. And, oh, Liquid Silk and Fragrance. And uh, they're wonderful. They're, to me, they're almost like a, 
a cross between an aftershave and a, 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 a liquid balm. Kind of like, uh, I've seen it, they look a lot like, I think Razor Art makes like a aftershave milk or something that looks kind of similar to it. But what it is, is it's, there's no alcohol in it. Uh, so for you guys that don't like alcohol, that's a good thing. Uh, and I'm an alcohol fiend. I love a alcohol. But I love these aftershaves. Uh, they don't last very long, and that's a good thing. And that's uh, I prefer an aftershave that doesn't last 10 hours. I want it to go away and take care of my face so I can put a cologne on after. And man, I got BBS. Dude. Anyway, so I can put it all over my face. Except right there. But uh, I want it to go, I want the scent to go away after 20 or 30 minutes. This goes, that takes a little longer than that. But I like it to go away so that I, if I want to later on put a cologne on, then there, it's not clashing with the aftershave. Because to me, they're two different things. I know some guys like aftershave to do a double duty, and that's good. There ain't a thing wrong with it. I got some old school aftershave brute last forever. If you put too much of that on, it'll last for a couple of days almost. It's just mean. But I mean, so I got a combination of both. But I like a lighter type life uh, time of the scent on an aftershave because I want to control what I put on my uh, body and a lot of my colognes. Or not, I don't have matching aftershave and cologne. I have differences uh, uh, for cologne. This is a fragrance that I want to smell good after a shave. If I want to go out, I got other stuff I want to put on. So, but anyway, uh, it's just chock full of good ingredients. Shake it up before you use it. Man, that smells good. And it's absolutely lovely all right that's been the shave thanks for joining me god bless you and i'll talk to you later